Hi there everyone, I'm Stormy Strike, and in this video I'm going to be showing you my pin collection! Hi everyone! For those of you that already know my channel, you already know that I like to collect things, particularly briar horses. If I can pull one out here, I will pull them out. Here we go, here we go, yes, there's one! So, Briar Horses are my main collection, but I have gotten into collecting other things. Or actually, I just collect a lot of things in general. But a fairly new thing for me to be collecting is uh, pins, specifically Disney pins. And Disney pin trading is really, really fun, and so that's what got me into it. So yes, I collect a lot of things. I love model horses especially, but I also have other really big collections of things like stuffed animals and other toys and merchandise and different franchise things and all kinds of stuff. And so the one thing I do really like about pins is the fact that they are small. They don't take up very much space. It is one of the few things I'm like okay with having started collecting because of the fact that they are small. And basically pretty much all the pins in our collection currently fit in this uh, pin trading bag and it's like Pretty amazing that all of my collection almost fits in here compared to things like my model horses that literally take up every free table space in the house. So it is nice to have the much smaller pins. But in this particular video I'm going to be giving you a look at my pin collection, uh, pin collection as it is currently. It does change pretty frequently because we will go through and decide that we'd want to trade our pins away for other pins and so on and so forth and we get new pins all the time. So it's going to be constantly changing so I'll have to do an updated pin tour later on. But for now I will show you what I have going on right now in my pin collection. Alright so here is my pin collection kind of all together or me and my mom's pin collection we both are like trading and doing pins and stuff like that together really. Although we kind of collect different things still kind of like my mom is really into collecting the Jungle Book pins while there are other pins that I like to collect and so on and so forth. And this here is my current pin trading bag so I actually have in here all my traders. So all my trading pins for when I go to Disneyland are in here. But I'm not going to go through those ones because I'm intending to trade them and so they're not a part of my collection. But I want to show my little pin trading bag because I actually just got it a few days ago and I absolutely love it. It's so cute and I added this little want to trade thing on it because I thought it was really cute. So those are my traders in there. But let's get to my actual collection going on here. So I'll first do these ones that are in the packages still. This is the Kingdom Carousel set, and I'm really sorry about the glare from the light, but I absolutely love this set. This is like probably one of my absolute favorite set of pins. I, I just love it so much. So they have the really cute four little carousel horses, and these are like one of the few horse pins I also have. These are like the only, only Disney horse pins I have besides one other one. But it's really cute. There's like a Peter Pan one. There's a Maleficent one with actually horns and wings, which just looks so awesome. There's like a Haunted Mansion themed one. And then there's also one that's just kind of a cute candy themed one. It looks kind of reminds me of like a My Little Pony. It's just so, so cute and got all kinds of candies on it. So these ones I keep in the, we uh, keep in the packages because we just really like the packaging. We think it looks really cool and I don't know, like I like I like the design of this and I like keeping these four pins together like that. And then this one is my mom's. This is the Disney cat set. And so it has Lucifer from Cinderella, Cyan Am from Lady and the Tramp, Figaro from Pinocchio, the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland, Marie from Aristocats, and Oliver from Oliver and Company. And again, the packaging on these looks so cute and they look so cute together that we like to just keep them on their little cards and packages like this. And then there are a few pins here that are on the cards and we will take them off the cards like when we wear them of course, but uh, right now we've just been keeping these particular ones on the cards for now. So this one is my mom's Bigera pin and she absolutely loves this pin. She also has a Sheer Khan pin, 
but I don't know where she put it. She also has two Jungle Book puzzle piece mystery set pins that are really nice and again I don't know where she put them but she has a really cool blue chaser pin and one of the vultures I can't remember their names but those are the other two pins that aren't going to be in this collection video because I don't have them at the moment this is another one of my mom's pins is Cyan Am she loves Cyan Am and Bigero they're like her favorite characters so this is a really cute Cyan Am troublemakers pin and then this one is also her pin this is the Mad Tea Party Disneyland pin, and it actually spins, which is really cool. So it spins all around, and the little ones spin, and it's just all really a lot going on. It's a really cute pin, and there's like Chippendale, Mickey, and Alice on it. And then this pin I actually just got today. I'm so excited about it. This is a Haunted Mansion pin with Chippendale, and it is so cute because it also moves. That's just really cool. So I'm really, really happy about this pen. This one's really neat. This one is a semi-recently, a uh, recent one I got. This is the 25th anniversary limited edition Phantasmic pen. It is so cool. So I'm sorry there's like so much glare. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. And adjusting the light doesn't seem to be really doing much. But it's a super cool pen. It's got some like sparkly stuff. So it's 25th anniversary, fantastic. Oh, it's so cool. So this is a really, really neat pen I'm really happy about. And then I have two Essence of Evil pens. We have the Evil Queen pen. Really cool. It says Malicious on it. And these are both limited edition pens. This one is uh, it's Scar from The Lion King, which I absolutely love. And it says Pride. This is like one of my absolute favorite pins for sure out of my entire pin collection thing going on here. This one is so cool and they also have a stained glass effect on them. Which you can't really tell when they're on the card but when they're off of it you can see like the certain parts of them are see-through and it's really cool. So those are the in the card pins. Now let's go into uh, what I got going on in the pin trading book here. And these ones are somewhat organized. They're not entirely organized but they are fairly organized by different groupings and I will go through all of them. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and go handheld for this part so we can get a kind of closer look at some of the pins going on. So there are three pins uh, in here in the trim pin trading book right now that aren't Disney pins. These three are not Disney. This one is from the Natural History Museum, the dinosaur fest that they had in, I can't remember what month, but it was last year in 2016. And I got this pin. I'm just, oh, I love it. It's so cool with the long neck and dinosaur on it. This one is a Briarfest pin. It is a bit older one. It's a cool Briarfest pin. And I believe I have a couple more Briarfest pins somewhere, but I don't know where at the moment. And then this one is a Cars, uh, not from Cars, but a car pin that my dad gave me. And he told me what it is exactly, and I can't remember. But it's a really cool, really small little uh, car pin there. It's pretty neat. Over on this side is uh, two Tinkerbell pins. This one I just kind of like for some reason. This one is a Tinkerbell 10k run and there's a whole story about that but I'm not going to get into it because I don't have enough time. This is a new pin I just got and it's kind of just out of order right now with anything because I just got it. But it is a really cool older Fantasmic pin and I just love it. It's got the Maleficent Dragon on it and then also a uh, Jetsam. Jetsam and uh, Flosum, or whatever their names are, from The Little Mermaid, and it's just, ah, oh, it's a super cool pen. I have a couple Disney World pins here, even though I've never been to Disney World. There's a Hollywood Studios pen, and then two Animal Kingdom pens, which I really love because they have dinosaurs on them. So, there's like a Styracosaurus one there, and then this one I believe is like an Iguanodon. And they're just so cool. They're really neat little pins. And they're actually not like Disney pin trading pins like the newer pins are. So I think they're a little bit older ones. They're kind of a little obscure. I don't know exactly what they come from, but they're really cool. Over here are cute little Bambi and Thumper pins. This one I absolutely love. It's a Randall pin. I just, for some reason, I have this whole thing about loving Randall when I was a kid for some reason. He was like my favorite character. I don't know why. But uh, I have another story about a different Randall pen, but I'm not going to do it in this video because I'm going to try to make, not, make this video not super long. I'll save that story for another time. 
There's a really cute, cute Lion King pins going on here. These are my Lion King pins kind of stuck together right now. So there's a cute grinning Simba one. There's a Scar one, Scar Villains one. The Alphabet Simba S one. One with Simba, one with Pumbaa. Scar Tie one, and then a cool Scar uh, trading pin trading lanyard set one. This next page is kind of like Disneyland themed pins for the most part, and then also Daisy Duck pins. So at the top here we have two of the Disneyland ticket ones, the A&E tickets, so we need to find the other ones. That's part of the ones we are looking to trade for while we're at Disneyland, we're trying to find those other ones that we're missing. There's a cute uh, Disney, two Disneyland pins here, and then our Daisy Duck pins here. Uh, and then there's a Donald Duck one too, but there's all the Daisy Duck pins on the side there. Pretty cute. This one I think is actually technically supposed to be like that Frozen pin thing. But I really like it because it just looks like a cool disneyland -y looking castle to me. Which is why I have it with the other Disneyland pins. And these ones are kind of weird. I can't remember if they're from Shanghai or Hong Kong or something. It's Disney ones. Really cute though, Carousel one and one at the castle. There's two Dumbo pins here, and then there's a Tinkerbell pin there. Then the cute little uh, Mickey on the train one. I'm looking for the other train ones. Those are one of the ones I'm going to try to get as many of in that series as possible. And then there's a cute uh, Pirates of the Caribbean parrot one. I really like that one for some reason, the little hidden Mickey pin. And there's just kind of this weird Pirates of the Caribbean one I kind of like too. And this one's a really cute Tinkerbell one that says, uh, where your dreams come true, or come true, is that what it says? It's hard to read, but it's a really cute pen. I believe it was from 2008. It's really cute, really sparkly. And then I also have my monorail pens, which I don't know why I'm like obsessed with the monorail pens, but I just really like the monorail pens for some reason. So I have almost the complete set of the Disney Disneyland monorail pens. I'm just missing one, but I have those ones there, the monorail hidden mickey disneyland pins they have an extra yellow one this one is actually a disney world monorail one and i'm hoping to try to find more of those as well so there's all those ones we'll move over here to this page is basically all the mickey pins all the mickey shaped ones mickey and mini ones so we have some cute mini ones up here some mardi gras mini mickeys Sorry about that. Uh, the cute little Mickey safety pin one. This one my mom really likes is the Happy New Year mini one. There's some more mini pins. This one's super cute. I really like that one. Another one. Lots of, lots of Mickey. Uh, my mom really likes this one too. Lots of cute little mini pins going on here. And then cute Mickey and Minnie together pins that are really cute. And then there's a couple mini uh, Mickey ones like the classic Mickey, a cop Mickey. And then, I don't know what series these are from, or like what it's called, the series is from, but I really like these, like little Mickey expression ones are cute. Another Mickey pin, some just kind of random Mickey shaped pins here. My mom really likes these fruit ones, so we're kind of collecting those ones right now. The cherries, the strawberries, and the oranges, so fun Mickey shaped ones. And then this one I really like, the little globe. I mean, the little, yeah, like the little world with the Mickey ears. I just think that one's super cute for some reason. All right, and of course my camera has to start dying as soon as I'm doing some fun videos here. But, um, so I'll have to go through these a little quicker. So these are uh, the princess pins uh, up through here. These are like my princess, prin pi princess pins. I don't know why I've actually kind of started liking princesses. I've never really liked them as much before, but lately I've been kind of getting into them more. So I have my Aurora pins over here. I have the shoes, not all of the shoes, but some of the shoes. The Rapunzel one I really love. These like portrait ones. And I actually have two of the same ones here, but I believe one is a, a scrapper pin. I know I have a few scrapper pins in my collection, but I don't really care too much because I just like the pins for pins. I'm not too worried about uh, the scrapper pin like authenticity as much for my own collection. But I believe the smaller one might be a scrapper one. That's why I have two of them here because I was really curious trying to figure out which one is the scrapper and which one's the authentic one. But that's why I have both of those there. And then there's some like little mermaid pins. Princess Tiana, Princess Jasmine, more little mermaid. 
Princess uh, Tiana one there. And down here I have uh, my five Marvel pins right there. Black Widow, Falcon, uh, Nick Fury, Iron Man. And one of my absolute favorites is Loki. Absolutely love that Loki pin. It's so cool. And I have two Stitch pins here. And then also a Eva pin from Wally. This next page is kind of more about more like animals section this one is. At the top I have all my Pluto pins, which I don't know why I'm collecting Pluto pins, but I am. So there they all are. They're so, so cute. And then uh, into the Pluto pins we also have Chippendale. It's another kind of thing we, uh, kind of set of characters we're kind of collecting is Chippendale. So we got some really cute Chippendale ones. We are missing some of their like counterparts, like I'm missing the chip one for this one. I'm missing the Dale of this one. I'm missing the chip for that one. So those ones are like kind of the ones we're looking for right now as well as we're trading at Disneyland. But they're so cute, the Chippendale pins. Down here are just kind of random animal pins. And so these are actually the pins that are from the Cat series, but these are scrapper ones that uh, aren't quite as nice. But we like having the extra, my mom likes having the extra ones, I should say. She really loves these cat pins, so that is why we still have those extra, like, scrapper ones. This is like a cat from, like, uh, Woody's Roundup. There's the pigeon from Bolt. Maximus from Tangled, that's like the only other horse pin I have. Uh, Doug, the raccoon from uh, Pocahontas. It's like a little, uh, like, zodiac -y kind of guy there. And Pascal, I have three Pascal pins, hoping to find the other ones of that one as well. And then also the Rescuers. Now on this page, this is a, kind of our more nicer pins for sure. These are the complete series of the collar, what's, I don't know what it's called, but it's like the Cat and Dogs collar series. I don't, I'm not a super pin expert, I don't know the names of all the different series at the moment. But we have all of them, and I absolutely love them. They're so cute. We even have some extras of some of them, which are down here, like Lady and Tramp and Perdita. So those are so, so, so cute. And then this is one of my absolute favorite pins, is the Tramp and Lady and the Heart. Really, really cute. Perdita and Pongo really love. Another Lady and the Tramp one that's really cute. My mom loves this Marie Cupcake one. I love my Bolt and Penny one, because I love Bolt, one of my favorite Favorite uh, underrated Disney movies, in my opinion. These uh, Cheshire Cat pens are just kind of added in there. It's also a cute little Dalmatian pin. Down here I have my Finding Nemo pins with a cute little otter. Uh, Squirt and Nemo. Two Gill pens because I just love Gill. And Peach. And then I kind of skipped over this one. But this is probably the most valuable pin that we have is the Club 33. It's it's pretty old. It's from uh, a few years ago because I haven't been to Club 33 in a really long time now, but this is a Club 33 pen and it's amazing that it's still in the condition it is in because I've worn it on my lanyard throughout uh, middle school, I believe. Maybe not middle school, but high school. I wore it on my lanyard like every day and I can't believe it's like still fantastic condition. Awesome, awesome pen. And so, yeah, it's like Really cool, really cool pin. And then onto the last page here. Gotta kinda hurry because my battery is dying, of course. This is like our Haunted Mansion nightmare pins. So there's Jack and Sally Mickey shaped pins. There's a funny Jack Easter one. Oogie Boogie pin. Really cool card one with the little uh, scary nightmare doll. And a really cute Zero pin, and this uh, the pin of the mayor that I really like. That one's super cool. That was a great find. And then we have our Haunted Mansion pins here with the, the Hatbox Ghost and the uh, gate, uh, Groundskeeper and this dog. This is a really cool one, which I'm not even sure exactly which uh, Haunted Mansion character it is, but it's cool. This one's also a Haunted Mansion one. And then over here we have some villains going on. Here's the Evil Queen pins I have, which I just absolutely love these two. I think they're so cool. Really neat pins. There's the Wanted Evil Queen is the like old lady pin. We have Maleficent pins down here. Another dragon one, which I absolutely love. This one's like one of my absolute favorites as well. Some more fun Maleficent pins. The one guy whose name I always forget from Princess and the Frog. That was, that's my mom's pin. 
and then more villain pins like Ursula and other scar uh, scar pin there. Some Mickey and Minnie goes. Another uh, Maleficent pin. A Mowgli pin. That's my mom's that uh, goes with her Jungle Book collection, which is kind of randomly here. And then lastly, I have uh, four Cars pins here that I just absolutely love. I love the Cars pins for some reason. They're so cute. So there are. There's there's my pins. Our pin collection right now. As I said, I will probably update this uh, like collection tour of them in the future somewhat soon probably because they seem to be growing very very rapidly.